Hey guys, thanks for dropping by. This is Sean from Plastic Star Wars and in this video, I'm going to talk you guys through how I repainted my Nerf Star Wars Amber Face Pulse Blaster Rifle from the Mandalorian series. It is quite a mouthful but it is what it is so let's just dive right into it. Now the first thing I did was to use two part epoxy putty and uh, fill in all the screw holes as well as the gaps around the screw caps. And when the epoxy has dried, I just use sandpaper and sand it down the excess. I've also used the epoxy to fill in some of the more obvious seams around the blaster. Then followed through with more sanding until the seams are less obvious. And then I sanded away the brand logos as well as the warning text and disclaimers that was molded onto the toy itself. And I glued on a small piece of Sintra underneath the blaster just to cover up the seam as well as add a little bit of detail. And with all that done, the blaster was ready for painting. So I proceeded to prime the entire thing in matte black. I took extra care to um, go over this in very light coats because um, if you put on too much paint, it's gonna mess around with the mechanism. So I did a quick check after I painted it and made sure everything was still working fine. For the rifle buttstock, um, I tried to simulate the look of wood by using acrylic paint. In this case, I just used uh, a dark and a medium brown and I applied it uh, directly into the toy using a brush, making sure that the grain uh, is all in the same direction. And then I started to paint the grip um, with a mix of Tamiya hobby grade paint as well as um, off the shelf hardware store paint. Uh, for the grip it's mainly a combination of brown and a dusting of gold. And for the shiny metal bits I used chrome paint um, that's of the hardware store variety. Um, so it's basically just lots of masking and painting at this point. Now for the upper and lower receiver, um, I think the color is like a light gun metal. So I tried to simulate it by using a good old fashioned dry brushing. And when I was done with that, I sealed it with a gloss coat. Now for the fork um, or prod, um, at the tip of the rifle, I realized that um, it isn't really just uh, chrome. So I tried to look at some reference photos and um, decided that I needed to add more colors to it. So I started by adding some gold as well as metallic orange to warm up the tones. And um, for the burnt metal look, it's a bit tricky because I don't do airbrush. But I thought maybe I could get away with it by using some water-based markers to just to simulate that look. And it actually turned out uh, much better than I thought. Of course, you have to seal it with uh, a coat. Um, I realized that by using gloss coat, um, you tend to really dull down the metallic finish of the chrome paint. Whereas when I tried using matte coat, it actually didn't really affect the shine that much. So that's what I used in the end. Now this burnt metal look is also seen on one part of the upper receiver and I used the same marker technique here as well. So in this video you can see that the colors are actually very garish. So I tried toning it down um, using a brush to blend the colors and mute it a little as well as giving it a very light dusting of gold it just brings everything together nicely and lastly I did some weathering to the prods basically I just gave it a black wash um, to highlight some of the details that are otherwise hidden and then I applied some suit from the Tamiya Weathering Master Kit. Mm -hmm. 
and when I was satisfied with the end result, I sealed it with a matte coat. And with that, the paint job is complete. I hope you guys have found this walkthrough useful if you were planning to do the same to yours. I think this toy is great and that if you're willing to put in a little bit of effort, it can really look the part. Now, I'm not saying that it's gonna look like a prop because um, it's not gonna ever look like the screen use prop. It's a totally different design. It's much shorter and the barrel is much thicker. The details are all wrong, but still, overall, I think it just looks great. And the best part is that you get to play with it. That's the whole point of the toy. so much for watching if you like the content do consider giving it a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one